All right, welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. I wanted to start doing some other uh, tutorials on other features in Canva. And as you can see right over here, I run multiple YouTube channels and I have to create thumbnails a lot, multiple thumbnails, and I create them all inside of Canva. And we've gotten some really good results, like right over here. I've used this one right over here, faceless, and there's a lot of elements going on in the background right here to actually create this. But we created this from scratch. I'm not a, an art designer or graphic designer or anything like that. We were able to create some pretty decent thumbnails right here, and this one got some really good clicks, good click-through rate, and uh, thousands of views on the video as well. As you can see, we're doing experimenting with some different ones right over here as well. But I want to show you a really cool way that we can use Canva to create some of these really cool uh, images. And maybe if you want, uh, if you have a picture of yourself and you're running your own YouTube channel and you want to be the face of your YouTube channel, then you can use your own uh, shots or you can just use cut out people inside of Canva. So let's get started. This is gonna be how to create a really cool glowing effect and some of these professional Photoshop style Canva thumbnails, but Photoshop style thumbnails that we can actually create similar, maybe not quite to the level that a professional can do with professional tools like Photoshop and so forth, but we can get pretty close, right? So we're going to go over here to create design, go over here to thumbnail, right? I'm going to create a thumbnail and then we're going to go over here and go to elements. And I'm going to say something like dark office background right over here. And I'm going to go to photos right over here. And then we're going to grab this one right here. And then what we can do a couple different tricks, you can actually right click and you can go set image as background. Or one other trick that I like to do is just hover this over to the top left hand corner, and then it will automatically drop in as the background. Now, we could just leave this as is, but there's a couple kind of fine details we can do to make it just a little bit crisper and stand out. So the other elements that we add on the page will be a stand out a little bit more, right? So that's what we want. So we're going to go in here to edit photo right over here. We'll go into the adjust right over here. And then what we'll do is we'll turn the, the brightness down maybe to about a 25 or something. So you can see it's just coming down to slightly. Keep your eye on this chair and maybe the desk and that's when you'll really see the lightness come down. So if we're at like a 25, maybe we wanna come down to maybe like a 35. I'm gonna make it a, little, a, lot, a little bit more darker, okay? And then the next thing we wanna do is come all the way down here to this vignette right over here. And you can see if you move it to the left, it's actually going to make blurred around the sides. And that actually could be a cool effect depending on what you wanna do with your thumbnail. But uh, maybe if you have some text or, and you want it to really focus in, that's what a vignette is going to do is allow you to fo really focus in on what's going on in the middle but we're going to actually take this to the other side and you will see that it actually starts darkening the other sides. So it has the reverse effect. It's actually going to start darkening these sides over here. So I'm going to move this over and we're going to move it way over and darken the sides like that. I'm going to move it all, all the way over to 100. OK, so we're good right there. Now we need something to work with. So. We're gonna go ahead and grab a person. So I'm gonna go over here to elements again. We spend a lot of time in elements and I'm gonna go over here and we're just going to look for a male business guy. I'm gonna to go to either graphics or photos. We'll go to photos and we'll go with this one right over here. You can use any kind like like with their, when their hand is pointed past their body. I wanna go with this one because he's pointing and his arm is not going so far away. Might be cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then we obviously wanna come over here to edit photo and then remove the background. And then we have this nice male cutout right over here. Now we can go in the middle right here, but you can see he is pointing over here. So maybe in this case, we would wanna move him over here. I like to grab the sides and move these in like this and move this down a little bit. And then we will go ahead and make this a lot bigger like that. And then we'll move him down a little bit more. And I like to have just a little bit of an area between the two right over here, as far as uh, the, the top of the head or the hairline up to the, the end or the border of the thumbnail. So we can do a couple different things right over here, right? So we're going to grab this right over here and we can go in now into elements and we can grab like a flare. You can use any kind of color of flare that you want. They usually are found in uh, graphics. I'm going to go grab this one right over here 
And once you hover this over the person's head, you can see right in here the dark part of this. We can blow this up to make sure it covers the whole face right there. And then what we're going to do is grab this and we're going to go over here to position and we're going to go backward. And then we're going to go ahead and put that like that. So it looks pretty cool though, right there. So then now what we can do, and we can play around with that a little bit. We can make it bigger if we want to. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab my, my eyedropper color picker. And I'm going to go ahead and grab somewhere right on the, I'm going to hover over the flare right there and get the exact color. And then what I'm going to do is hover over the cutout of our gentleman right there. And we're going to go edit photo. And then this is where I'm going to go and add a shadow and go to a glow shadow right over here. And notice it's really annoying. I, I don't know why Canva hasn't fixed this, but they really haven't fixed this. When you click glow, it always shrinks everything down. You, you just saw the way that happened, right? So if I go undo, you can see where he's at right now. If I click on here and then we go and we try to hit the glow button, it makes him smaller. So something that's a pain and you have to readjust him. But for now, we'll go over here to the color and then we'll do a control V and we'll paste that color in and now check that out. So now we have a nice filter and this is where you can go and play with the settings over here the intensity level i like to usually turn the intensity level up quite a bit maybe the size down a little bit like that so it's really looking like it's glowing in the background but it's going to pop on the screen and then you can go with blur amount as well you can really blur that in or you can make it an outline like that so i'm going to go in here like around a 25 maybe for now looking pretty good right there and then last, we do need to uh, make this adjustment. And so we need to move him back up to about right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and these fine things, you got to go backwards again. I'm going to make this bigger, the flare bigger. So I'm going to go like this and move it right on the face again, right over here. And then I'll go with position backwards again. So that looks pretty cool, right? The colors match and everything, super cool. Now look, he's pointing right here and we could do some cool things too. We can do text, we could put an arrow right here to even more text, but let's go and grab the text uh, button over here. We'll go with heading and I'm just gonna go with, we're just gonna leave the heading right over there or business tips or whatever it's going to be. Don't go with the standard Avril fat face. I wouldn't really recommend that this text ever. We'll come over here and then we will actually go and you can go to display fonts over here. You can start looking at display fonts or headings. I'm gonna go to headings and there's one that's pretty cool down here, this Benoru. I'm gonna go ahead and click that one right there. And then we're gonna go over here and change the color, we can change the text color to white, it looks really good. And then what you can do is obviously go to effects and you can do some pretty cool things right over here. We can do, we can add some outlines to this. We can splice it up, we can do a shadow and we can change the color. We can just do a simple lift and then increase the intensity right there. It's just gonna make it pop a little bit. But it's pretty cool if you go with this neon right here as well. You can increase the intensity or lower the intensity. And on this one, specific one, I'm gonna actually lower the intensity, but it's still a neon right there. And then what we could do is we could move this up right over here. And if you wanted to get even fancier, so you would have that. And let's just say you have another small text right over here like that. And maybe you want to put that on the screen right there. So there's a pretty decent looking thumbnail. Now what we could do is we could duplicate this page and we could also come over here. And if we wanted to do some more things, we could copy and paste this. And then what we could do is go to the effects. We could say no effects right over here if we wanted to. And we could make this just a little bit bigger like that. And then what we could do is we could change the color to one of the uh, colors right over here. So maybe we want to paste this in. We want to go grab that color again. I'm going to go grab that right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that color in right over here. So then now we have the color right there. And now we want to go and hover this over our text because we made it bigger, right? So you can do a couple different things like that if you wanted to and make that look pretty cool, pretty crisp. And then what we can do is could copy this, paste, come back down here. And then what we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and go with the do, let's go with this one up here, copy. 
and then paste this in right over here as well. And then maybe the reverse of this, right, would be, let's go over here and just put text right there. And then right over here, we would go text right there. And you can see where I'm going with this. So we could actually go with the text and put this, and we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. And then we're going to hover this over our other color right over here. And this is where I'll start using the arrow keys like this and just messing around with it. So there's a lot of different things you can do with creating just like a 3D effect right there and using multiple. So don't let just clicking on the text and you go over here, you can, the only unfortunate thing, you can only apply one major effect or style at once, but don't let that stop you from coming in here and actually just making a copy of it and you can do multiple effects at once if you want to. Then you can start fooling around with this, right? You can start going with duplicate page. Maybe we want white in the background, right? So I'll go over here and I'll go position, I'll go backwards, I'll grab this right over here and then I'll go and change this over to a black color maybe, right? And then what we'll do is we'll grab that and we'll go and shove it back in the back again right over here. So we'll just, and then you can see how it really adds depth and pop to that text right there. That is just a quick tutorial on how you can make some really cool stuff, headlines. And then another way you can do this is you can duplicate this page. And what we could do is we could actually grab this text right over here. And we would need to go with, we would need to change this text to, I'm just gonna go with the neon, and then we're gonna go with neon and change the color of that to just a white color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest. I'm gonna show you another kind of way that you could create your thumbnails. If you wanted to put the text right over here, but if you wanted to, you can also center, center your character in the, so we're gonna move this guy right here and we're gonna center him. Canva gives us the nice line right there. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. So he's nice and centered. We'll grab this right over here and we'll move it right where it needs to be about right there. And I'm gonna make this even bigger so it pops a little bit more. And then we'll move that like that. It looks super, super slick. And then we can go and grab this text right over here and we can make it pop. And you could just say something like over here. So for me, we're talking about faceless YouTube channel. So maybe I wanna double click in here and say all caps faceless, and then I'm going to obviously, maybe we'll move this over. So you can just see how you play with this, get a feel for what it's gonna look like, move that around like that, and then go to position and go backwards right there. And so you have this nice glow right there. I could put faceless like that. You can also do some cool stuff with some uh, more objects over here, but just wanted to get this out there. A pretty cool way to create some uh, pretty engaging thumbnails. Obviously not on this channel. Um, I'm not really doing thumbnails like this, but um, this is uh, what a lot of thumbnails look like. And I just wanted to get that uh, this uh, really cool tutorial out there so you can create some nice looking thumbnails inside of Canva. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more great tutorials like this for everything Canva. See you in the next video.